Hey guys, this is Malinki. Welcome back to my channel, Voice of Malinki. Today we will talk about oxidative phosphorylation. And if you are new in my channel, please subscribe my channel. And if you like my video, please do like, comment, and share my video. So, in the last lecture, we have talked about electron transport chain. In that lecture, we have seen that one molecule of NADH pumped 10 protons from matrix to the intermembrane space and one molecule of FADH2 pump 6 protons from matrix to the intermembrane space. Now protons are translocated from matrix to the intermembrane space so they create a concentration gradient. So if I say it in a simple way concentration of proton is much higher in the intermembrane space compared to the matrix of the mitochondria. Due to this concentration gradient, protons will tend to flow back in matrix in order to create equal proton concentration in both sides. But in order to reach their goal, Protons must first cross the inner membrane before entering the matrix. Hence, protons move across the inner membrane through a specific enzyme, ATP synthase, which is also called complex phase. So, it is a transmembrane enzyme. This enzyme has two parts. So, this part is F0 which is embedded in inner membrane and this part is F1 which faces the matrix and the movement of protons through ATP synthase provides energy which is used to generate ATP from ADP and inorganic phosphate. In this way, ATP gets generated during electron transfer. Since energy of oxidation reduction is utilized for this ATP synthesis, the process is called oxidative phosphorylation. Now, one thing should be noted that one ATP molecule is generated from movement of four protons. Since one molecule of NADH pumps 10 protons, 2.5 molecules of ATP would be generated from 1 NADH. Again, one molecule of FADH2 pumps 6 protons. Therefore, 1.5 molecules of ATP would be generated from 1 FADH2. 